It's a bit back heavy. Oh, we just blew up the rear. We are taking off. And I don't think this crew is going to survive this time. So I've been watching Snowpiercer, the one without Captain America, and I've been wondering, can I make this but worse in every single aspect? Yes we can. So I've started off with the usual airplane cockpit, slapping a big fuselage on the back, two hinges and a coupler because I assumed that would work. Of course, I would be wrong. Anyways, four ginormous wheels later and we've got our first test drive. Cue me finding out these wheels can turn. So after realizing I couldn't get away with the bare minimum of effort, I went back to the drawing board and threw that away as well. Because we don't do anything theoretical, we test and sacrifice. So I started off with a new jet cockpit and I tilted it forward a little bit so it kind of represents the Snowpiercer design with the window. However, you will soon find out that I could never really hit the mark with Snowpiercer. Anyways, uh, it's hard to do with all the vanilla items that are in game. As for the power supply, I've settled on a ton of AliExpress batteries and nuclear generators. I did think about staying true to the movies, but due to Kerbal's child labor laws and their heads being way too big, I had to resort to alternatives. Anyway, the time has come that we're ready for the first test drive. And to absolutely no one's surprise, it works. Now, it might seem a little unstable in the corners, and that's because it is. So, I've just given it some training wheels that should do. And for the people that have been screaming at the screen for the past minute or so, I just noticed the whole drive train is crooked. My fault. Apologies. Or not. So now that the main engine is done, let's do a test drive and see how she goes. And because it makes no noise due to the electric motors, I've taken the cord to see to put on some sound effects to prevent this awkward silence between us. <coughs> Anyways, she drives like a beaut and the cockpit being on an angle makes for a very nice viewing angle. Because that's what it's about. Let's add some stairs to the cockpit, so the drive can actually leave. And they get out on the wrong side. Well, never mind, they wouldn't want to leave anyways. So, after putting on some lights and adding final touches, we can move on to the carriage. So, to compensate for the movement between the carriages and the engine, I've put on a rotor and a hinge to act as the link. Besides the fact that I just made a massive empty hill that I forgot to put any entryway into for the Kerbals, um, it's not like they would need a lot of living space anyways. I think the crew cabins are sufficient. Moving on. And I forgot the hinge for going up and down the hill. It doesn't matter, let's see how fast we can go. Okay, let's speed up the time and we blew up. So, adding an extra inch and some power made a little difference, but let's see how it handles speeding up. So, as you can see, we are doing a small hill climbing test, but the train struggles a little bit with an incline so it's not really made for going over hills we just have to aim for the flat spots um, which is going to be difficult because I think the Kerbal Space Station is surrounded by a hill but hey look at this we found our old tank prototypes I don't know if I made a video about this but it doesn't matter um, so we're just going to park it right here and go on to our next objective and that's making the train longer and see if it's still controllable and then we're gonna go back to this place as well and turn on the lights so it looks all nice let's see so making it longer is quite easy we basically just copy the <laughs> carriage and just paste it on the back and see how many we can fit and make it controllable um, it's gonna be a bit hard to test because the frame rates definitely gonna drop with this many entities but we'll see how it fares let's give it a new name and let's test drive it all right so we're doing our first test drive as an actual train um, <laughs> let's see how it runs first of all I have to fix the graphical settings to see if I can get some improvements 
and then we're gonna go for it because it's definitely running a bit harder right now so we're powering up we've got some movement going it does curve really nicely it does turn and it's acting a bit weird now it seems like we don't really go left for some reason um it wants to go a little left and now it's I've, i kind of feel like it's being pushed by the rear carriages it's trying to jackknife even though I'm, I'm still throttling up, so that's a bit weird. Um, maybe it has to do with the amount of wheels I've put on. Maybe I can minimize that and then it will work. We'll see. Alright, so before we do that, I actually just want to turn off all the steering on the wheels. Because um, cause maybe they were all... I don't know what's going on. We'll see. I kind of don't want to minimize the amount of wheels because I feel like it's gonna pop all the tires not sure though gonna put some RCS thrusters on it as well maybe that will help a bit and um, yeah let's just go for it again all right so here we are let's go for another test drive you can hear the thrusters doing their work but I'm already yeah see it's already trying to jackknife or whatever you would call this it's really weird, the thrusters have no control. Yeah, so let's let's just do something different then this time. Okay, so this time I did remove actually some wheels from the carriages. Maybe that will help. And I kept the thrusters and let's see now it's already you see. Yeah, it's not working. It's really strange. Um Maybe I have too many wheels on the front. Maybe that's making it weird. Okay, now I removed the wheels from the front as well. Just kept a few. <laughs> Let's see how this works. And I'm trying to turn right now. It seems to be doing a little better. Oh, no, never mind. It's being weird again. Yeah, you're gonna hear the thrust is doing the work, but it just does not want to turn. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Because um, <laughs> I can't figure out the steering for now. I'm gonna come back to it later. I'm just gonna put on some rocket boosters and see how that fares, alright? Let's see if this baby can fly. There we go, ignition, we're going. We're going pretty slow. It looks cool though. wonder what happens if I try to turn but <laughs> I don't think a lot will happen I think yeah not a lot to happen. okay so we reached our max speed of I think it was 45 meters a second I'm never gonna go back to that again <laughs> But let's see what a bigger booster will do. I think these are the biggest boosters in Kerbal right now. And that's going to be that way forever because Kerbal's not being updated again. And we almost burned off our rear carriage. Uh, it's being a bit bounced because it's, it's a bit back heavy. Oh, we just blew up the rear. We are taking off. And I don't think this crew is going to survive this time. Anyways, I still want to see how that looks like from the inside. So let's ignite again. Oh, and we're instantly getting shot into the ground. And we're not reaching our top speed, no, in this case we're just crashing. Um, I didn't do a lot really, uh, so I don't know why it went this way now, but um, yeah, that's that. Anyways, one last time, this time we put a lot of smaller boosters on the sides and on the top, and let's see how this thing goes. I've tried to angle them a bit so it takes off, let's see if we can make like a center sleigh doesn't look like it <laughs> god man this thing is coming straight from hell um, and we're crashing already oh a booster gave loose and everything yeah everything's going up okay well that was that okay guys so I managed to finally fix it so the issue was there were too many steerable wheels in the front engine all right instead of the back engine I know shut up anyways there were too many steerable parts on the front uh, so I basically just removed all of the wheels except for four uh, that's the training wheels so it doesn't tilt over and the normal front wheels the steering wheels and then I've only made the front wheels steerable 
and that seems to be working absolutely beautiful look at this look at the 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 curve we're getting the the whatchamacallit anyways and now enjoy this montage of it driving in the night on max speed <laughs> 